cloud enablers for your channel partners. Uh, whether that your business model is building cloud services or reselling cloud services, um, we want to be able to work with you to create a bespoke, tailored go-to-market proposition that fits in with your business and, and your customers to help you build a successful cloud practice. A very brief look at the agenda. So I'm just going to spend uh, 10 or 15 minutes just taking you through um, why, why we think cloud is such a good opportunity, what the overall adult cloud strategy is, uh, and then touching briefly on the, um, the cloud solutions and the cloud portfolio, and then taking through a little bit of detail on the cloud enablement program. Uh, and then going to hand over to uh, the team from CompTIA. So we've got two or three people from CompTIA going to talk. And they're just going to take you through who are CompTIA, um, how, how does it work, you know, what support you get from CompTIA, and what the value uh, is that CompTIA brings to you and your business uh, in building cloud solutions. So in terms of why cloud, why now, um, you know, for those that aren't aware, you know, cloud, cloud is obviously a very hot topic. Uh, and I say that in jest because you know, I imagine every single person on the uh, on the webinar is, is acutely aware of that. So you know, depending on what uh, market statistic you look at, it's it's very apparent that the cloud is growing um, and growing fast. It's certainly in the top three priorities of CXOs and line of business, and um, and it's it's outperforming the traditional IT market in the region of five times uh, in terms of growth. So um, what does that mean? You know, so there's some interesting data coming out of uh, various places that, that say that over 80% of end users expect to have two or more cloud services. And the reason why I feel that's important is, you know, within Arrow and leveraging our platform, Arrowsphere, we can help partners maximize that customer uh, footprint and customer engagement by offering, a, you know, aggregating multiple cloud services and enabling our partners to uh, to build more tailored solutions into their customer base um, and, and thus uh, increasing margin and profitability for your business. Another interesting statistic about cloud is that you know partners that have uh, cloud in their business, uh, and this was from a, a study of partners that have 50% or more of their business based on cloud uh, annuity revenue, typically had a, a, a over one and a half times, 1.6 times profit to those partners that didn't have that cloud mix. So so not, not only is it a growing market, and not only are end user customers asking for help uh, and engagement around cloud, but it's also a very profitable business to, to be involved in. The little diagram on the on the right hand side of this slide is just to try and illustrate your know, on-premise revenue, uh, you may or may not be feeling in your business um, is getting harder and, and it's declining in certain parts. You know, that's certainly true if you look at the uh, the traditional IT on-premise market. Um, and what we're trying to illustrate here is that you know cloud revenue, you know, yes, is smaller than traditional revenue today. Um, however, you know it is growing, and at some point will outperform on-premise revenue at some point in the future. And for you, whether that ends up being you know 12 months, two years, or, or five years away, you know you, 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 we, we believe that partners should start planning now to start building up that cloud revenue stream so that they uh, minimize the, the exposure of the decline in on-premise revenue. So in terms of where, where you may be on your cloud journey, uh, we, we come across two different types of partners. Um, so I'm pretty sure that, that hopefully you'll fit into one of these two categories. So either you sell cloud or manage service today, um, but you have challenges and operational and overhead challenges around managing billing uh, monitoring and repeating those services, or you want to offer cloud services today, but you're not too sure where to start, or you know you don't think you've got the right skill set, uh, and, and and you certainly don't think you've got the investment. Now, fortunately, from from uh, from our role, you know we we believe we're in a unique position as the as the cloud enablers to to help you, regardless of which of those two scenarios you are, um, and that's not just through um, through a platform and a portfolio of services. But it's also um, the reason for the cloud enablement program is to uh, leverage the platform and cloud portfolio of services to help you go to market faster, more cost effectively, uh, and, and with as um, you know, reduced risk as possible uh, by de risking some of those uh, propositions for you. So, in terms of our um, 
top level cloud strategy um, you know fundamentally we've, we've, if, if you look at these three diagrams so uh, and the, in the very top left we, uh, we've got the cloud enablement program which I'm going to take you through in a little bit more detail shortly um, we've got a, a, a growing and expanding portfolio of um, market leading cloud, cloud services so a lot of household names on there that you'll you'd expect to see um, and uh, you know we're, we're the evolution of that is we're looking at you know building out what we call uh, solution stacks to help partners bundle those cloud services wrapped around with some um, sales assessments you know onboarding migration services and, and ongoing support services so that depending on the maturity of your business and the skill set in your business you can absolutely go to market and offer a fully wrapped cloud offering to your customer base with um, you know as much or as little involvement from, from your services as you require. Taking those two through, um, what we basically can do through our platform, which is Arrowsphere, which is a platform that, that Arrows invested you know, millions and millions uh, of pounds into over the last uh, three to five years, and it's a continually evolving platform. And the reason that I feel that's important is it's evolving, uh, not because it's not not um, fit for purpose today, but it's evolving because we're continually learning as we engage with our partners um, how how to improve that platform and how to make sure it's adding the right type of value to our partner base. So through the Aerosphere platform, we can enable and interact with yourselves as partners when you want to build or resell cloud services. So in terms of um, what are the benefits for you as partners, i um, just got a few of them uh, on the screen here and I'll just pick up on a, on a couple of them. So, so you know, why, why should you as a partner work with Arrow on our cloud enablement program? Um, well, we can help you shorten the time to market. So whether you've got some existing services or you, you don't, you know, you're looking to re start reselling cloud services, leveraging the Arrow Sphere portfolio we can help you go to market faster by uh, by you know providing you the best of breed, save you the process of having to evaluate who that may be. We, you know we've done that like work, we've made the contractual process easier, the onboarding process easier, and the activation of you and your sales teams easier, so that you can uh, very quickly take those services to market and monetize some some, uh, some revenue. We can provide you know pre pre and post sale support. So again, you know as I touched on earlier. Whether you're uh, looking to you know, generate opportunities in your customer base by running, you know, marketing campaigns, running sales assessments, um, and engaging in opportunities that then require pre-sales engagement because of their solution nature, we can provide the resource and skills for that. Uh, and 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 then uh, also from a post-sales point of view, we can help you actually onboard that customer to the cloud solution, whether that's a particular workload or a particular service that the customers buying from you on cloud, um, help you onboard them and migrate them to the cloud, but then also help you offer managed uh, and, and ongoing support services to that customer. We also, by, by doing those things, help you become a trusted advisor in, within your customer. So, you know, continuing to build on the relationships that you've got and hopefully help you uh, create and, and form new relationships and new customers, or indeed within existing customers, expanding your relationship by, uh, by being able to offer you know, cloud solutions which may take you in into other areas and, and uh, verticals and solution sets that you've historically not been able to uh, to enter because the, the barrier to entry from a skill and investment point of view was too high. Uh, with cloud, we find that we see a lot of partners being able to offer you know, a wide plethora of solutions that they, they couldn't previously, previously offer. So, just to go into a little bit of detail on the cloud enablement program, and um, uh, my intention would be that this gives you a good overview about what the program is and what the deliverables are to you, uh, and then and then hopefully you know you, that you feel that adds enough value to you, so you can then come and engage with us uh, following this webinar, and we can sit down and go through a lot more detail, as well as there'll be some collateral and content sent out to you. So fundamentally, the cloud enablement program uh, is, is is built as, to provide a framework to, to help our partners on their cloud journey, and and, and fundamentally, it's to help uh, not you know ultimately is to 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 help you generate revenue from cloud services, 
but what we recognise is that it's a you know a step by step approach in, in order to help you uh, take cloud services to the market. It's not like traditional IT. It's may just be a you know a new vendor or new product line within a vendor, uh, which is far easier to to adapt and absorb within existing businesses. So the four main uh, pillars of the program are onboard, plan, enable, and execute. Uh, and by doing those and following those through, um, then that drives reward. So in terms of onboarding, what, what's the deliverables that we can offer there? There's a number of things that we can do with you. So from uh, digital transformation assessments, where we can sit down with you and perhaps other key stakeholders in your organization to understand you know, if you've got cloud services today, what are they? Uh, how do you productize things? Who your competition are? How you go to market today? What proposition and value proposition you take to market today? What skills and resources exist in your business, uh, both you know sales, technical, as well as financial and operational, uh, around managing uh, recurring businesses? So we understand all of that through a digital transformation assessment and capture that uh, in our in our um, bespoke planning tool called uh, Arrow Smart Hub. So we can get a really good understanding of your business. We can get a really understanding about. Know what makes you successful today and then as we move on to the planning stage of the framework we can take all of that information and build a plan that is tailored to your strengths uh, and, and also addresses any, any any potential weaknesses in terms of skills gap and etc so in the planning stage you know we we, we would uh, align a dedicated cloud uh, business development manager to you they would work alongside you to build out a plan that, that um, encompassed enablement for your business as well as go-to-market activity within your business, uh, linking in with the, the appropriate vendor team uh, so we can plan for success. Once we've done that planning, then we, then we move into the enablement stage. Now, within enablement, um, there's a number of different deliverables from online uh, sales, and sales and technical enablement you know, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, on-site or, or over the webinar style context enablement. Uh, and this is also then where our relationship with CompTIA comes into play uh, from a uh, further enablement and certification, which, which the guys will take you through shortly. Within enablement, as well as the kind of sales and technical, uh, there's also um, deliverables to help you from a, a financial and a um, operational point of view. Just to ensure that you know the right people in your business understand, you know how to com compensate sales teams, how to manage cash flow, uh, how to manage annuity contracts, uh, and how to you know operationally manage provisioning of those services and the ongoing billing and management of those services. Once we've done that enablement, uh, we move into the execution stage, and this is really critical because because um, this is obviously what's going to drive the business in the pipeline, and 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 again. From uh, Avil's point of view, and from an Avil cloud uh, perspective, this is where we're leveraging the, the, the traditional core business of Avil, as well as having a particular cloud business, to be able to uh, help you take these cloud services to your customers quicker, more cost effectively, and, and yield better results. So Avilsphere is a platform that I've mentioned, which is the, you know, the platform to enable your business to you know, essentially quote, provision, uh, and manage subscriptions, and manage billing. Uh, across aggregated cloud services from multiple vendors, but we've got uh, a plethora of other tools and platforms that you can leverage. You know, virtual marketing managers to help you run campaigns and, and get assets and collateral. Uh, we've got you know P PR as a service to help you you know raise profile and awareness in your customer base. We've got uh, you know uh, smart profiling services to help you either you know, provide you with databases in particular verticals or to help you better analyze the databases that you've got. So, so as you can uh, as you can tell, there's, there's lots and lots for you to uh, to get involved in and, and leverage as part of the value add model. Once once we've done that and when we start to generate some pipeline, clearly from a reward perspective, the reward is you know business that we generate. The reward is also you know in, industry recognised certifications from partners such as CompTIA, um, and then also we'll look to as part of the plan, we'll look to build in some sales and technical incentives. Just to help motivate and, uh, and maintain that focus within your business to uh, to, to drive ahead and forge a uh, mutually beneficial, uh, profitable cloud business. 
So at that stage, uh, I'm going to hand over to uh, my colleagues from CompTIA, um, and, and they're going to take you through uh, what CompTIA is about and um, what the value out of working with CompTIA is. Thank you, Scott. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Leanne Johnson. I work for the membership side of CompTIA, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of who we are, and then I'll pass over to my colleagues, Blythe Gurness, who will talk to you about the cloud content that we have available that you can access to help develop your business, and then also Radhika Gatani, who will talk to you about our cloud certifications. So who are we first of all? CompTIA are a global not-for-profit trade association. We're headquartered in Chicago. We have over 30 years experience helping companies within the channel to improve and grow. We have a presence in over 90 countries worldwide and we're the largest provider of vendor neutral IT certifications. So I mentioned I worked for the membership side. We have over 2,000 premier member companies on board with CompTIA. They range from solution providers, so your MSPs, your, your typical VARs. We also have vendor members, distributor members such as Arrow, and then also a small amount of associates. We also offer a registered user status, which is membership for individuals on a free of charge basis, so they can access a certain level of our resource. And to date, we have over 60,000 registered users that are on board with us again, and that's, that's globally. Oh, apologies, I'm just trying to move the slides along. So, First of all, the certification side of CompTIA. Um, there are two sides to us, and if you haven't, if you have heard of us, sorry, then we're probably most well known for our individual technical certifications, so A plus, Network plus, etc., which my colleague Radhika will, will talk you through uh, a bit more a, a little later. So just to explain our business model. The sales of these certification exams generate over 60 million US dollars a year. Because we're a not-for-profit, once all of the overheads have been paid, the remaining money is put over into membership, and we use that to support and develop companies in the channel. So companies can join for a nominal fee, and what that means is they can then access all of our research, uh, sorry, our resource. So to give you an idea of what that is, we offer vendor neutral education and training. Now that's all business focused rather than technical. There are a range of topic, topics that you can access, including cloud, managed services, security, finance, and, and a range of other topics as well. Everything we provide is jargon free and it's written in a usable step-by-step -step format. We also produce 15 research pieces a year, which you could access and use perhaps to guide your business planning, press releases, just to, to generally look at the direction that the, the market is going, so then you can align your activities to that. We also fund various communities, including we have a global cloud community, and also here in the UK, a channel community. Both of those we would encourage you to, to have a look at and get involved in. Um, it, it's open for anybody to join. We also offer other resources such as tools, templates, trust marks. Everything is designed to help you develop your business to, to improve and grow. And I would encourage you to go onto our website at www.comptia.org to check out what's there um, and then see how that could be of benefit to you. So I did mention that we have, oh, I do apologise, I didn't put the other side of the membership slide up, sorry. So Arrow, I mentioned earlier, Arrow are members of CompTIA. So for you, that means that there are privileges. The good news is, because they are premier members, they are able to share our resource with you. 
so you can benefit from their membership with us. I'll now pass over to my colleague Blythe, who will go into a little more detail on the educational content that we have and how you can access that. Thanks, Leanne, and good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with you all today. Um, as Leanne mentioned, there's a slew of resources available to you through your uh, relationship with Arrow and their relationship with CompTIA. Um, I'm on the education side, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's available to you on, on, um, within education. First, I'd like to say all of the education that we provide is vendor neutral, so you won't have any ulterior motives um, with any of the education that we provide. It's all strictly educational, and it was uh, developed by subject matter experts in the industry. So these are people that are in the trenches with you. They feel your pain. They know they've lived it. They're living it with you. Um, and it's been reviewed by our communities. So we ensure that everything has been um, checked and double checked before it's delivered to you. We know that it's relevant and um, as cutting edge as it can be before it gets to you. Um, we have a blended learning. So there is a, a ton of opportunity for you to learn either face to face you can learn via webinar or there's uh, the online option as well, which is completely self-paced. You can go at your own um, at your own pace, at your own time, your own um, you know however however it fits into your schedule. Uh, and there's four different or yes four different executive certificate topics that are available online: um, cloud foundations, cloud intermediate, financial management, which is brand new, and IT security. So it's not a certification as like A plus would be, but it's an executive certificate. So you still get something tangible at the end that you can download and put up at your desk or at your office and let people know that you've really gone that extra mile to uh, learn more and help grow and, and develop and diversify your business. Uh, we have uh, the executive certificates, which are full day if, we, if you do it face to face. Um, and we can provide that education to you for no cost through your relationship with Arrow. So you would just need to let them know what, you, what you're looking for and, and we can deliver that to you. Um, the quick start sessions are about an hour. So they'll fit very nicely in a webinar format, maybe at lunch if you have a group of people who are looking to do uh, training at, during uh, lunchtime or in the morning. They, they work out very well um, for those time frames. And again, they're just an hour. So it's not a lot of time, but a lot of information that's delivered to you and will help you grow, grow your business. All of that information is available at the link below if you go to www.comptia.org slash events slash training. And um, you can get more information on all the, all the information, or get more information on all the education that is available to you. And we have over 300 different products in our education catalog. So I would suggest maybe downloading that first. So you get an idea of what's available to you, whether it's a guide or an actual um, session online, or we have tons of webinar archives as well. So if you don't have time to dedicate to something live at, um, at your business, you can, you can always access the, the webinar archives as well. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, so in addition to the live education that we offer, we also, also have tools and templates that you can take advantage of. The marketing toolkit and sales toolkit are some of the most recently downloaded resources that we provide to you. The marketing toolkit will have samples of press releases, pitch letters, newsletter articles. Um, it gives you some guidelines for approaching the media, um, general information for creating publicity, publicity and creating a marketing communications campaign. So even if you're not a marketing expert, it still gives you a lot of guidance. It's kind of like a marketing department in a box. So uh, definitely, if you haven't looked at that, take a look at it. It's one of the most frequently downloaded resources that we provide. So um, very popular. And again, even if you're not a marketing expert, it's going to give you a lot of tools to, to get you to that level of people who may have been doing it for a really long time. In addition to that, we also have the sales toolkit where you'll be able to access employee agreements, contractor agreements, non-disclosure agreements, things that will cost a lot of money if you went elsewhere. And these were all developed by our legal department and reviewed by peers like yourself um, who are in the industry. And so the, the information is very relevant. It's, um, you know, it was suggested by our communities. So all the information that's in there are things that people are hungry for and need. So definitely take advantage of those. Uh, the, the toolkits are free to you after your partnership with 
arrow, so take advantage of it for sure. We also have uh, three, on, three online events. Um, EMEA, which just took place, so if you missed that, definitely don't miss it next year. Um, attendance was up considerably this year, so we, we had close to 500 people there. Um, so don't miss out on that. ChannelCon is on the U.S. side. It's our big event that's over 1,000 people every year, but we do offer a ChannelCon online. So even if you're not able to fly over to the U.S., you can still access the, um, the education sessions that we have, and we have both dual membership, which is you know, business-based, education in addition to certification um, sessions as well that will qualify you for CEU credits. So those are very popular. And again, even if you can't attend live, you can, you know, on site, you can still access that information online. And it's a live feed, so you're getting everything um, right as everyone else is. We also have webinars that we, um, that we deliver live and also we archive them when they're done. So if you weren't able to attend anything uh, live, you can still access the archives and those are very popular too. And uh, topics range on anything from managed services, cloud obviously, which is important to what you do, um, in addition to IT security, also very important to what you do. So don't miss out on, on the slew of information that's available to you. Also, we have uh, communities that specialize, again, in the, some of the top topics that are important to you, cloud security, managed services, managed print. There's a UK channel uh, community that's dedicated to your channel specifically. And the communities are really important. All of the education that we provide is from the community recommendations. So all of the experts, all of the people who make up the communities, all the leaders get together, they work on initiatives. If there's a huge gap somewhere in the industry that needs to be filled and they think CompTIA can do it, they work together with the experts in the field and we create some of the best education um, that, that you can get. And in addition, they help drive a lot of the research that we do and um, they're just super important to helping drive the industry in, in different directions. In addition to the communities, we also have research, which I mentioned, industry trends, trends in cloud, state of the industry, trends in managed services. These are all some of the top research uh, things that are available to you. And in addition to the reports, we also have like the, the um, summary version. So if you don't have time to read the full page, you know, seven, eight page report, you can read a one page summary that will give you um, some great information, statistics that you can take into your customers and um, let them know that you're ahead of the game when it comes to, uh, to industry trends. And that information is available um, as, pre as a presentation form in either live or webinar format as well. So if you are interested in having someone come out and speak to you, um, please let your area representative know and we can um, definitely get that um, organized for you. You can learn more about all of these benefits at comptia.org slash insight slash tool. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and hand things over to Radhika, who is going to give you some more information on our certification resources. Thank you very much for that. So I'm just going to click through. So one of the things that Blythe actually uh, mentioned is that obviously we, we do a lot of research. So one of the things I want to go into once I have full access, I just need to click through to the next slide possible is the research so some we did do some research um, very recently around what does the cloud um, really mean in terms of the business opportunity for you I won't go through this in, in great amount of detail this is available to download and, and, and go through but as you can see um, throughout the last three years it's been a yearly study so throughout the last three years you can see organizations are actually using it probably more than they would like to claim that they are using some sort of cloud service to enable their business um, but it, it is definitely a growing trend um, and moving forward there are organizations that I know of that are 100 percent in the cloud they do not own any IT infrastructure um, and do not plan to so if you are selling to you know trying to, to grow your business in some shape or form or trying to tap into a new audience um, this is something definitely to, to consider so again, just to show some of the, the key drivers um, which, which came out of the, the study is that the cloud is just enabling businesses to, to move themselves in, in a new direction. 
Um, so I think, you know, if we can help you work with Arrow to enable yourself quicker and, and service customers faster, um, that this is what the, the channel is, is, is saying. Obviously, we appreciate that um, CompTIA, as, as Leanne mentioned earlier, you know, is, is an organization that is completely supported by um, the certification side of the business, which is where I sit. Um, I'm not sure if many of you know, but these are the, the, the suite of products that we've created. They are all vendor neutral certifications. Um, and the, in particular, I'm going to go into a little bit detail on cloud, the two various certifications I have in, in the cloud space. One, both of the both of these certifications that I'm going to talk about are aimed at the individual, not aimed at the business. So similar to the way Leanne and Blythe presented the education, that's helping your business in various shapes and forms, from templates to quick start guides. These are actually the individuals within your organization. Cloud Essentials was created um, two years ago, just over two years ago, with the support of ING Bank in the Netherlands, and it was really aimed at across an entire business unit. It doesn't have to be the individual that is actually going to be supporting the cloud from a technical perspective. It's actually aimed at business owners, managers, salespeople um, as well. And it's a short online exam. There's a piece of e-learning attached to it. There are some books attached to that as well. So th this is really aimed at um, you know, the individual that's working within your business. So just a, a bit of a, an overview on the job roles and the background that we would expect them to, to have a good understanding and these are the, the people that within your business would take, sit these exams. Cloud Plus was, again, something that was created through some of the community work that we've done. Um, there is a number of large vendors such as VMware that have created cloud-specific certifications and virtualization certifications, but this is again a vendor-neutral certification aimed completely at the technical individual. Um, so these are the, the objectives that are for, for a cloud essentials certification, so this is what they will be covering, this is the content that they will be covering. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going too quickly on this, but these are all going to be shared with you. So, um, again, touching on the Cloud Plus, this is aimed at the technical, pro there is no pre prerequisite for a technical uh, engineer who will be con going through the Cloud Plus certification, available in a couple of day courses, online courses and books as well. Please contact Arrow if this is something that you are interested in, in doing. Um, it is globally recognized, so we have um, created this with a community in mind, with a subject matter experts in, in, in mind, and these are a few organizations that globally recommend and also mandate that their individuals that work for them have, have this accreditation. Just covering some of the objectives, so that is um, ultimately, you know, what, what what will they be tested on after their their learning program? What experience do we expect them to have? Obviously, you will have IT engineers within your organisation that have may or may not have a background in storage, something that they're working on maybe with Dell or EMC. Um, it, it's giving them that overarching um, vendor neutral view, but also face very much based on job tasks and, and specific competencies that they need. On that note, I am going to hand it back over to the guys at Arrow um, and help to facilitate any questions that you potentially may have. Hi, thank you uh, for that. So, um, it's Scott here. So, uh, if anybody's got any questions, if I could ask if you could uh, put them uh, into the chat, and then I can uh, I can answer them. Um, and um, whilst you're doing that, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just close off, and then if we have no questions, we, we can we can end the webinar. So, um, you know, what I'd just like to summarise on is, you know. We as Avo uh, want to absolutely be the cloud enablers for your business. You know, we want it. We want to work with you and understand your business and build that plan that's unique and tailored to, to your go-to-market and um, customer base, as, we, as, as I touched on earlier. And we want to bring partnerships like the Comtia partnership. There's many other partnerships that we have that we're, we're looking to bring to you as the partner 
um, part of the community uh, over the next 12, 18 months for you to be able to leverage to uh, to maximise the cloud opportunity uh, within your business. Um, so just um, before I close the webinar, so I had a couple of questions. Um, so I had, uh, it, it, you know, one, one question is, is there a cost for a partner to join the Cloud Enablement Program? Uh, it's a very good question, um, and hopefully that means that uh, you see value in it, thinking about the cost associated. So I'm, I'm pleased to say that there isn't a cost. Um, the, uh, the Cloud Enablement Program is a value add program uh, from our role. However, uh, you know, in terms of getting access to the Cloud Enablement Program, there is a, you know, a set of requirements on you as a partner, uh, which is focused around you know, alignment of resources and, and commitment to execute uh, activities within a plan. So, so there's no specific cost for the for the program, but there is resource uh, uh, focus and, uh, and alignment required. Uh, second question was: Any plans to provide um, uh, slightly not sure the wording, but provide within infrastructure as a service? So, um, I think. Um, Power, I think it's talking about IBM, so specifically around the um, the portfolio. So again, uh, as I touched on earlier, you know the, the, the portfolio is is continuing expanding. You know, if you as a partner have a particular customer need that you feel that the portfolio is addressed today, then then please feed that back through to to, to myself and the cloud team, and we'll um, we'll certainly investigate that for you. Um, and then uh, a final question we've got here is. Um, you know, the way where can you find out more information on, on the products and services? Um, following this call, we'll um, we'll, uh, we'll be able to uh, send out some collateral, as you can see here. So we we'll have the slides sent out to you. Uh, there's a dedicated website to the Cloud Enablers program, uh, and then from there you'll be able to link to uh, various. Um, we have a have our hub uh, cloud site, which is a dedicated site to cloud information, which has information about what products and services are available, uh, as well as um, industry newsletters and, and information like that. Um, so uh, so that will be coming out um, after this call, so that should, should hopefully answer that. So um, any other questions that, that kind of come through that I've missed, we'll, we'll be sure to, uh, to come back to everybody on. Um, uh, so I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you all very much for taking the time to join us today. Hopefully you've uh, you've found it of some value, um, but um, we'll uh, contact details are there for you to come and engage with us. Uh, wish you a pleasant end to your day. So thank you very much. I'm going to end the webinar there.